Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to create a mini player because uh, this was a request and uh, for a student, mini player and enemy was not damaging each other. So let's start and let's see how it will work. So for creating mini player, we can go to Invector and then we can go to MIDI Combat and then we have Create MIDI Controller. So let's click on this and then we will add a model of character which we want to add. Then we will click on Animator Controller and then we will select In Vector MIDI Combat and then we will select the camera which we want so in this case mini combat camera state is fine and then we will click on create so that's it this is our player and if we play the game hopefully the player can move run punch everything is fine so now you can see our player can move he can run he can jump he can roll so everything is fine he can also punch and kick okay so now we will see that uh, how we can add enemy so for enemy because uh, it is a new version so we can't go to create in vector mili combat and ai mili it will not work sometimes so you have to go to ai controller and definitely ai controller should be added for uh, yourself uh, for your game uh, FSM AI controller so here you can create a create a new AI and here we can add our object which will be ma in this case and in vector controller we will add AI milli combat and then we will select, uh, select the FSM behavior which will be FSM milli behavior then we will click on create and uh, we have our enemy okay definitely we can add some basic components to these enemies and player as well so we'll select the enemy and i will just select the basic locomotion components and the hit damage particles we will also add uh, some we can add footsteps and other options as well but i will not add other things right now also i will just uh, go to our uh, player here is our player and we can go to in vector we can go to basic locomotion and then we can select hit damage particles so for player uh, we will select the player and you should see that the tag and layer should be player and then we will come next in third person controller everything is fine okay in layers we can go to layers and uh, everything is fine here also we will explore the milli manager which is the most important thing and inside the milli manager you should see this field in this field we should have enemy okay because we want to hit enemies so now what will happen if we play the game you will see that we can hit the enemy and hopefully the enemy will be killed so let's see uh, here is our enemy we can just hit the enemy you can see and we are damaging the enemy also you can see enemy is trying to save himself but he can't hit us okay and uh, I will show you why he can't hit us also you can see sometimes we enter into body of enemy so we can solve this issue by adding the ragdoll component so it will solve the issue so finally I actually just want to kill the enemy and this that's why it's taking too much time anyhow it's damaging the enemy and finally we can kill him yeah you can see he is killed so now we want that enemy should attack us so we will select the enemy and uh, we should see the enemy and layers uh, will be uh, the enemy 
tag and layer should be enabled and then we will open the MIDI controller and here we will open the detection uh, tab in detection we should change this detect layer to layer and this one to player again detect tags ok uh, after that we will open the milli manager and here you can see that we have hit damage tags enemy so we will change this to player itself player so now it will damage the player so let's see let's play the game and now you will see he will detect the player and he will attack us you can see he is attacking us okay so moving further uh, i will just uh, add ragdoll components to both enemy and player for better understanding so let's create ragdoll component for player as well so let's select the player and ragdoll component the next step for melee players is to add weapon so we can also add the weapons for melee players and if we go to invector folder uh, where it is in vector and then if we go to melee combat and then prefabs and then weapons you can see different weapons here so we have swords and other things we can definitely change the mesh of these weapons but for time I will just add this weapon here you can see we have this weapon and now we want to set this weapons in the hands of the player so what we will do we will extend the player we will find the right hand of the player so where it is actually hips and spine and then inside spine we have right shoulder and inside right shoulder we have right arm and then we have right hand okay so inside right hand we will just drag drop our sword so where it is yeah actually we have to open the prefab maybe uh, I don't think so. Anyhow, uh, where is our sword? Actually, my eyesight is weak. This is the sword, yeah. So, we will just drag drop this sword under the right hand and then we will position it to 0, 0, 0. So it will be positioned accurately according to our hand ok and then we will just manually position it like this and before that I think we should add a point for sword but let's see what will happen let's uh, play the game and yes we have our sword fully functioning sword in our hand okay so you can see we can damage the enemy with sword and he is killed with only one attack so let's add a sword for enemy as well so for enemy we will uh, do the same process but in this case we should have enemy sword so we'll go to and vector ai and then we'll go to prefabs 
and then we will go to weapons and here we have weapons for enemy AI so we will open uh, we will go to our AI and here we will uh, I will just drag drop the weapon first here so AI sword is there then we will extend the enemy's hand which will be in hips and then spine then right shoulder right arm right hand and inside right hand we will drag drop the weapon and then we will make position of weapon to zero 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 and now you can see that we have our weapon uh, here but unfortunately the weapon is uh, rotation is not fine so we will select the weapon we will select the rotate option and we will rotate the weapon like this and then we will adjust the position of the weapon according to the hand of enemy definitely you can resize the weapon as well you can scale it according to the enemy I am not doing so now and that's it we have sword in hand of our enemy let's see how it will work so hopefully we have weapon and you can see the enemy also have weapon and he will but he you can see he is not attacking us with yeah he is attacking us with weapon that's nice we have successfully created our uh, melee player and enemy that's it for this video let's meet in next video goodbye